Hey guys, DMike here from another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I know last time I mentioned that we were going to go find Charlie, but... Just kidding, we're not doing that yet. We're going to do a little bit of a pivot. Charlie and his... Potentially frostbitten corpse can wait. We're heading back to the Garden of Hope. This is probably going to be our last visit here for a little while. The game doesn't really intend for us to have a whole lot to do here for now, after this. There's some other accessible areas that we need to get, but um, there's not really a whole lot we can do. So we're just going to make do with, right now, what we've got. I'm gonna go ahead and nectar up our boys. This episode is kind of a little bit of a retooling and collection slash all of the above. So the progress today is going to be basically headed towards that. Also, um, I don't know if you guys could hear that because of my big blabbering mouth, but the Pikmin, when you're running around, will start singing the Pikmin theme. So I'll be quiet for a moment, see if I can get to do it again. I think that's adorable. So anyway, one of the things that is very useful in this game that you acquire at various points that we're actually going to want to grab our self some of today is a special potent juice, an energy drink, you might say. I have no idea why this is pointing me in this direction, but um, that is irrelevant. Anyway, I'm just wandering around while I'm speaking, so I'll actually get to what I was intending to do instead of wasting time. Um, we'll go ahead and kill this bull orb just for fun, just to make sure we still got it. Okay, still got it, great. So we can't do anything with this electric gate yet. As you can imagine, that is not accessible to us because we don't have the requisite proper color of Pikmin. So we did acquire red Pikmin. We acquired rock Pikmin, which is great. The last episode, we were able to continue our quest in pursuit of Charlie. But there is something that would help us a lot if we can find it. So there are these weird little guys, but what we're after here is actually this plant. And you might be thinking, what is so special about this plant? Well, for those of you who have ever played Pikmin 2, there are plants throughout the course of Pikmin 2 that when collected in large enough of a quantity, the berries of said plants, not the plant itself, they will provide you with a potent buff to your game. And we're going to learn about that right now. So to be clear, these plants that we're collecting are not related to the fruit that goes into the juicing that we are trying to complete. So instead, these berries are a game mechanic, the ultra spicy berry. So as the Drake has told us, they're not edible for our crew members. However, our Pikmin may be quite fond of them. So that's the case. This actually is a plant that's only accessible right now in the game. So as you complete the game further and you progress the day along, this is the only day specifically where that type of plant, the ultra spicy berry plant, will be producing fruit. So keep that in mind. That's why we're coming back here today, actually, as the pivot. But we've also got an additional task that we're going to be doing. So as you can see here, we looks like we got some potentially uh, some tuna or sardine cans here suspended in a bit of a pulley system. And there's something hiding up above that we're going to want to get. Now there's more to this puzzle that you'll see later. However, trying to progress further is not possible because of the electricity that is currently preventing our progress. So we're going to need to do a little bit of 
puzzle solving here. So you're going to want to throw a captain up there with a Pikmin. And then you're going to want to, I believe, if this is going to work properly the way that I thought I'd do it. If I can get the Pikmin up there too, that's kind of the goal. Actually, I believe what I'm supposed to do, as I'm being a complete ding-dong, is I'm supposed to take my Pikmin with Brittany and throw her up there. And then I think... No, I don't want to do that. And then I think, as I switch, I should be able to have Brittany whistle the pick. Nope, don't come down. I want to try to get these guys up there and stay up there, maybe. Under her control. I don't know if I can get them from here. Might have to just throw them up on the bricks. And then she hops off. We'll see if this is going to work. My puzzle solving is a little rusty, so bear with me here, folks. I think then I'm trying to figure this out in my brain, which is all kinds of fun. Okay, so we've got the Pikmin there. And then we need a captain up here, I believe. Then, uh, let me think about this for a moment. Actually, I think I want these Pikmin to weigh this down with Alf. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? I think, hold on a moment. That looks pretty good. I don't know if I can reach this top of this platform from here, but I can sure try. Okay, looks like I can. Eventually. They're sort of getting up there. It might just be the way that I'm throwing it. Not doing great. Come on, guys. Get up there. Okay, that should weigh it down. Okay. Now we're making some progress. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now that we've got Alf in control... We can throw our little guys up there and get this interesting green sphere. I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. Looks yummy, though. We collected a yellow one that was pretty similar, so we'll see. But yeah, there's nothing else that we can do in this exact moment yet. If we try to go that way, we will be electrocuted and all of our Pikmin will die, so... As fun as that sounds in theory, not for them, obviously, or their captains, I suppose. We're not going to do that. Not feeling particularly malicious today. But on the plus side, from our time spent... Oh, do you not want to go in that water? Excuse you. We're going to lock on to the ultra spicy berry plant again and collect some more. I'm going to show you guys what happens when you collect a, the right amount. There's a special surprise coming in for you guys. All right. So we're going to head back. And along the way, it's not a horrible idea to continue to flower your Pikmin if you haven't. The Drake is analyzing. It's very good. Wouldn't want to get behind in our analysis. So it looks like we have caused a commotion here. We've gotten some sufficient nectar. So, we have given ourselves our first dose of the ultra spicy spray. So the berries are very convenient because you can carry them back. There is a more convenient way of collecting the ultra spicy spray. So now that we have that, it technically is, you know, always just ours. You don't have to do anything else to get it. But, uh, yeah, when you shoot that on your Pikmin, when you spray your Pikmin with your goo, that spicy spray will make them faster. It will make them stronger, harder, better, faster, and stronger for your needs. Which is very nice. It's very beneficial for 
boss fights and other goings ons. So for the time being, like that's kind of, you know, that's it. I know that this part of this episode is a little light, so I think we're going to do a little bit of Pikmin farming here in a moment. And then we're going to call it a day, literally, because there isn't a ton to do. We've already got a heckin' ton of reds, so we're gonna get some rocks out, and I'll bolster my forces here. But that's one of the fun things about this game, is, realistically speaking, you can attack this game however you want. I did not mean to do that. You can- excuse you. Thank you. You can attack this game however you want. You can be very aggressive and try to complete the story as fast as you can. If you are more of a explorationist, I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. If you are into that, then by all means, you know, take your time. I have no idea what one of my Pikmin is fighting right now. I can hear it. I don't know if I can see it. What is going on? Okay. Anyway, we're at midday. So yeah, this day isn't actually going to have a, a ton. Did I hit the wrong button? Oh, they're... Okay, so there was still another berry, I guess, that this Pikmin found. That's very convenient. Thank you, one red Pikmin. So that red Pikmin's holding down the fort to get us more spicy spray. But yeah, remember, this is the only day in the Garden of Hope for now that the ultra spicy spray will be accessible. So get as much of it as you can. Be careful that you don't send any of your Pikmin to their watery graves here, because that can happen. I mean, we've never seen that in this Let's Play, you know, so we got that going for us. That's something that would be completely uh, unknown to us. We've never made mistakes, so just keep that in mind. Yeah, collect your Pikmin, flower your Pikmin. Um, you can kind of just leave a few to wander and collect those berries. Hopefully they don't wind up accidentally drowning in the process. That would be bad. You don't want to drown your Pikmin. I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate that. But yeah, one of the things that I recommend doing, especially with a game like this, because it is, it's pretty cash. I'd say Pikmin's pretty cash, is to never underestimate the resources you could possibly need. You can never have too many Pikmin. You can never have too many Pikmin being flowered. You can never have too much spicy spray. Obviously, you know, you don't want to go over the top. You don't want to be too egregious with what you're trying to do and cheese the game or anything like that. But I mean, you know, that's just... Okay, I didn't mean to... Oh, that was just the one red that I had with me. Okay. I thought I, I thought I charged Brittany. I didn't know that was possible. Like, wow, Brittany, you're starting to look like a red Pikmin. I must be losing my heckin' mind. All right. Anyway, so... That should be a pretty good amount of what we're trying to do. Get a couple spicy sprays for yourself. Keep that in your back pocket. Whistle along your newly cropped Pikmins as they try to go back to the spicy spray. I don't really feel like we need more than that. Two should be good for now. So I think because of our successful acquisition of that orb and uh, that spicy spray, that's pretty exciting, right? That should help us along the way. We're going to nectar up these last doodly doos that are just hanging around. And we are going to call this day a wrap. I do. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do the opposite of that, actually. And put everybody back. See ya. Bye. Uh, bye bye. Yeah, and that's it. Some of the days you'll have, there just won't be a ton to do. And that's okay. Some of the days you'll wind up collecting a ton of fruit and find a bunch of bosses, but it just really depends. So we're going to end this day. This is all that I'm going to do today. We will fool around more next time. The next episode is actually going to be quite dynamic compared to this one, so prepare yourselves for a tumultuous change of events.
And we have deprived a giant bull borb of a delicious treat once again. Take that, you big jerk. And we will uh, collect our new fruit. Brittany is very excited. The Zest Bomb. Give it a quick once over here. Looks pretty delicious. Might go good with a nice margarita, perhaps. If you're of age, drink responsibly. So the Zest Bomb gives us about a capsule and a half, which is good. We're gonna ingest one of them delicious juicy treats. So we're doing great. So day four, pretty heckin' successful. Had a little bit of an uptick in Pikmin. We are doing great, and we got the Zest Bomb. It's not gonna show you the spicy spray. Apparently that's not worthy of notice, but now we've got Brittany telling us a little bit about some rock Pikmin. So here we go. Rock Pikmin are as hard as rocks. That's crazy. So they do a lot of damage when thrown directly at a target. Considering how dense and chunky their bodies are, chunky boys, their legs are surprisingly slender. How they manage to support themselves is a mystery to me. Signed, Brittany. And that is the day saved. So thanks for joining me, everybody. We will be departing for the distant tundra next time. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I've been D-Mike. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.